Hey guys, so here's what I'm looking at. From the last video, we connected the date that Paul ran the ship aground on the island of Malta, Julian 1029, to the honeybee constellation, because that's where the moon was on that date, and Malta means honey. So from there, we've been following the astro symbolism encoded within that little uh, Malta narrative at the top of Acts 28. So after landing on Malta, Paul gets bit by a snake. And we see right below the honeybee constellation is Hydra, the serpent constellation. And then Paul meets Publius, the chief man of the island. And Publius represents the star Regulus in Leo, because Regulus means chief. So let's move the moon forward from Cancer to Regulus. And it's around, I guess, November 13th. And then in Acts 28.8... It mentions Publius's father being sick with a bloody flux. And bloody flux is a reference to the birth canal of Virgo, which is in this area around here. So let's move the moon forward to that point. Uh, that was around, I guess, November 17th or so. Notice also that the chapter verse signature there is 28.8, which is the average number of days in a pregnancy, 288. So that also connects us to the birth canal area here. And then in verse 10, it says that the people of the island laded them with supplies. And laded there could be a reference to the scales, a.k.a. Libra. Uh, I'm not real sure about that, but let's just move the moon forward to that point. So that takes us to November 19th. And then finally, in Acts 28.11, it says they departed in a ship. And though it says Castor and Pollux here, which is a reference to Gemini, I think in the context of the Malta narrative, it's actually a reference to the ship of Sagittarius. And we can see that the moon will be at that point on November 23rd, right there in the ship of Sagittarius. That celestial position is also interesting because the last Acts 27 and 28 related celestial sign we received was that first quarter moon right in the ship of Sagittarius at exactly 276 to 277 degrees. So that could have been a hint that the rapture happens when the moon is in the ship of Sagittarius. And on top of that, it happened on Julian Pi Day. And when the moon will be in that same position on November 23rd, that will be Julian November 10th which is the 314th Julian day of the year. So it's basically another type of Julian Pi day. And remember, they're traveling with that centurion named Julius. So that first quarter moon sign points to this date both celestially and numerically. So that is why I'm looking at this date, November 23rd. Also, we're still in that Amos chapter 8 to 9 window. Remember, Amos 8.5 mentions the new moon, wheat, and the balances. And the last new moon was right here over Virgo's wheat sheaf, while this new moon is in the balances. New moon, wheat, and balances. And Amos 8.10 mentions turning your feasts into mourning. And we're coming up on Thanksgiving, which is Babylon's biggest feast. Also, that's Amos chapter 8, and then the book ends on chapter 9. And the new moon over the wheat was the 8th new moon of the lunar year, and the new moon in the balances is the ninth. Amos 8 and 9. And Amos 9 is the 888th chapter of the Bible, and as you know, 888 is kind of like Jesus' signature. So you can see how very close we are. So yeah, I hope we're out of here on the 23rd when the moon is right there in the ship of Sagittarius. Now let me pull up the calendar spreadsheet real fast. So yeah, I'm hoping we fly on November 23rd. Uh, if you're in the Far East, it could be the 24th already. And that's Julian, November 10th, which as I said is the 314th Julian day of the year. And let's see, on the Roman Republican calendar, that would be November 17th, which brings to mind Zechariah 1117, which is about the right eye wound. So there could be a last Trump connection on that date as well, uh, especially considering that's on the Roman calendar, and Trump is something like Caesar. And on the rabbinical calendar, that would be the second day of the ninth month, 
and the number 29 has the biblical meaning of departure. And it will be the third day of the new moon. In 1 Samuel chapter 20, David has to hide until the third day of the new moon behind the stone Azel, and Azel means departure. Uh, oh, and by the way, that will be a Sunday. So yeah, it could just be a few more days, guys. So let's keep watching. The gospel is the good news of how Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God, came to this earth to die on the cross for our sins. He was buried and then he rose again three days later. He did this to give us eternal life in heaven and to save us from hell. The Bible says in Acts 16.31, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Once you're saved, you're always saved. Jesus said in John 6.47, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. So to be saved from hell and to have the gift of eternal life, you must trust Christ alone.